Good morning. In this video, let's talk about all the Git repositories that we have created as part of N28 Minutes. And another reason I'm creating this video is to test the audio quality at the new office we have taken to create more high quality courses. So if you have any feedback on this video, on the audio quality especially, I would really like to see it. So if you like the audio, click the like button. Or if you don't like the audio, can you, if you can be specific and say exactly which part of the audio you didn't like, that would be wonderful. Thank you. So let's get down to the topic of this video to look at what are all the Git repositories that we have in, in 28 minutes. So if you look at our channel, uh, github.com slash in 28 minutes is where all our Git code is. So all our code is in the repository github.com slash in 28 minutes so it's very easy github.com in 28 minutes you can go to google and search github in 28 minutes you should be able to easily find this as well okay so what are the different repositories we have in here as you can see here we have 31 different repositories that are that's a lot and we have about 850 followers so that's cool too the future course preparation preparation is basically the place where i would start preparing for my next courses so if I want to do any course in future, then I would put all the material related to that in the future course pre preparation section. JUnit in 28 minutes contains uh, all the code for uh, the JUnit course that we have. So uh, it helps you to learn unit testing and become good at the unit testing framework JUnit. The Hibernate JPS step-by-step -step is something which we are working on. So this is uh, like there are a few examples out there which would help you to learn uh, JPA. But it's not really a full-fledged example right now. We are still working on that. The Spring Boot um, for Beginners is the repository for our course on Spring Boot for Beginners. It kind of gives you a complete overview of the Spring Boot, all the unique features of Spring Boot like auto configuration and also starter projects and things like actuator and all that kind of stuff. So if you're new to Spring Boot and you don't know what to do, uh, you want to learn more about Spring Boot, then you can take this repository try building that project and see how it goes in 28 minutes course roadmap is a repository where we actually put a roadmap for our courses we are trying to update this repository every few months to give you an idea of what kind of courses we are going to create i mean the industry is changing a lot so we want to react to that and keep uh, updating our courses to react to what's happening in, in the industry spring in 28 minutes is uh, our one of the first repositories that we created this is for uh, the spring framework so this is something which uh, is the first version of our course i'm sure within the next couple of months there should be another version of the course with spring in 28 minutes step by step the interview guide is something i really recommend you to look at so this contains a lot of uh, interview questions related to uh, java uh, and uh, java ee so you can see there are a lot of useful interview resources oops interview questions advanced java servlets, JSPs, design patterns, JDBC, and a lot of stuff around that Maven, Eclipse, Jenkins. And yeah, I think this is a very useful thing for you to check out. The Java Technology for Beginners is a repository I created as I explained here. It's basically in my 15 years of designing and developing 100 web applications, I've learned a lot of things. Like there are a lot of terminology, standards, frameworks, and tools that we use in the Java world. I mean, it's very difficult for somebody to know all of them. So I was trying to create the Java technology for beginners as a repository where I would put in a lot of things about my experience with different frameworks and things like that. So if you go in the repository, it would be a complete big list of things where we talk about different tools, frameworks, and things like that. Java best practices is another thing that I would really recommend. I mean, this is like also based on my experience in the industry for about 15 years. So I put out uh, what are the best practices related to Java? So how do you want, like if you want to become a good programmer, how do you do that? So what are the good programming practices in Java? What are the different modern development practices that you would need to adhere to and learn? So things like unit testing, test driven development, behavior development, and also things like architecture. There are a lot of things that are very interesting as part of this repository. So if you look at this, there are a lot of pictures about web services, SOAP, and also uh, a little bit of discussion about them as well. We also put in a little bit of information about the microservices architecture. Uh, I mean, this is a repository which should keep growing. I think over a period of time so this is something you can try and track all the next ones are related to courses so this is the repository for spring mvc course this is the re repository for building a spring web application with spring boot step by step 
this is a repository for our Mockito course this is a uh, repository for our JSP servlets course Java tutorial for beginners is still a work in progress uh, Java interview questions and answers is a like full-fledged uh, thing for our Java interview course and you have the 10 steps to high quality Java developer this is something which I wanted to do from long time but I did not really get a chance to complete this so over here I actually talk about all the things which I really think are important for somebody to become a great Java developer so things like four principles of simple design like what kind of attitude so all that kind of stuff is present in here you can actually look at the PDF and see how you like it the other interesting repository I would recommend is the design patterns for beginners and the Java EE design patterns which is the companion for our Java EE architecture course there you go those are some of the important repositories that are present in our git repository as i said earlier i mean the main reason why i was creating this video is to test the audio at my new place so if you have any feedback regarding the audio of this video then uh, do leave us a comment i mean if you like it just click the like button if you don't then it would be great if you can be specific and put the exact comment in uh, the description thank you and until i see you in the next video bye bye